people. Travel light, that's what I always say. Just the barest of essentials. Absolute necessities. In this age of rapid scientific discovery, many questions are being asked as to just how far science should go. Should we allow practices like human cloning and stem cell cultivation to be a normal part of our society? Well, here on Brainiac, we're never ones to shy away from such issues. And today, we're carrying out the ultimate in testing. Genetic testing. First, we'll test the strength of each pair of genes by simulating the no-holds-barred shopping techniques of the January sales. Take two highly charged, no-nonsense Brainiac shoppers and one pair of genes. And what would Madam like to drink? Don't! She's thinking. Sorry, but red or white, though? Oh, what are all these questions? What do you want from me? What are questions except things that demand answers? That is brilliant. Christ, you're fascinating. But red or white, though? Ah, three colors red, three colors white. It's all choices and films with me in them. And then there was Kevin Costner in the bathroom. Really? <laughs> oh, heady days. Because you started acting early on, didn't you? You were a prodigy. Well, of course, my mother was an actress. Of course, she had her ups and downs as well, didn't she? Well, I think everybody knows that my mom fought a long dependency against alcohol, which she tragically finally lost when I was nine. And you very much picked up the baton from her, didn't you, Tash? Well, that's... Uh... Let's talk about your early childhood. You, your father was a big producer. Your mother, as you said, with such dignity, was an alky. In fact, she drank so much, she must have been born pissed. <laughs> well, they did say that when my mum used to feed me, she didn't know which bottle to pick up. <laughs> Giles, let me help you slip into something a bit more leather. Mmm, and very comfortable it is too. Thank you, Charlotte. This is exactly the same jacket as that worn by Stan Collymore when he went dogging. Dogging? <laughs> yes, he's having sex in car parks. Oh. We've got the, uh, the obligatory baseball cap, and I just would like to point out with this cap, this frontispiece here is actually cotton, and it's got a little sort of forehead gusset inside for if you are sweating in the cells or the courtroom, uh, <laughs> it, you wouldn't get any drips. And then, of course, you've got, you've got the sunglasses wrap around because um, they shield you, don't you, from, from the glare of publicity, but, but also possibly the glare from you. You've got these fabulous false notes. I wish I could do that. <laughs> so Dyke was shocked to read the constant reports that EastEnders rogue Shane Ritchie was once nearly back. Bankrupt. How can this be, we asked. I mean, he's never off the telly, and it's not like he spends all his cash on fine dining, like I do. Bonjour! Which is French for hiya. You're watching BBC Knowledge Online Choice Active and Kicking Digital with computers forward slash bonsai. And this is the language zone. And this is the geography zone. Now, geography is quite a long word, and if you're studying A-level geography, you might even find spelling your subject a bit scary. <laughs> Eureka! Which is philosophy for higher Factastic. On the bright side, Charlotte is here. Barry. Yes. We know he's oh. got bronchitis, he's been ill, lots of disappointed fans. Jackie Tasker has even composed a short verse to Mr. Malinlo to the tune of Copacabana, which I will attempt to sing a bit of. Come on. His name was Barry. He was a showman, but with bronchitis in his throat, he just couldn't sing a note. We sat so patient as he squeaked and croaked, but even though a megastar, he just couldn't stretch that far. And I think... I think you're wasted on a consumer program. Any bit of me. Is it really true? Is the best way to stand out in a crowd to stand in the middle of one? Five pairs of pants, ten, even fifteen, and Charlie Ede, eight of Herne Hill, can still walk. Where will it end? Pants, 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 pants. The shotgun. No explanation needed. Does lager improve your game? That's the question we're asking down here at the Brainiac Lab. Dear Brainiac, I want to know how many pieces of bubble gum you can get in your mouth and still be able to blow a bubble. 
the level of scientific endeavour of Brainiac viewers never ceases to amaze me.